uh, within this 5 minutes I will just do one thing. Now just within this slide what you can see there is some erosion of the articular surface. If you can see here there is an erosion of the articular surface. Now the purpose of the articular surface is to have smooth gliding surface so that there is a movement possible at this articular surface. That is the purpose of the joint and the purpose of all the ligaments which are there around the joint is to stabilize this joint so that this smooth gliding movement can happen and end up in a movement which is articulated and you propel forwards. But if this articular cartilage is going off for some reason either because of degeneration or because of a pathology which is an inflammation or an infection what happens once this soft smooth glistening resilient structure has gone the bony ends which are rough now come into play and rub against each other and once they rub against each other they cause lot of pain and joint cannot be moved as smoothly as it was moving in the past. Once this is not moving you call this as arthritis. If it is because of inflammation arthritis means inflammation of the joint right. If it is also involving the nearby bone you call it as osteoarthritis right. Now once you have this osteoarthritis because of either a primary degenerative cause leading to loss of articular cartilage or secondary to either an inflammation like rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis or any other pathology like gout right which are all secondary say inflammation without infection or infection with inflammation like tuberculous arthritis septic arthritis leading to degeneration of the cartilage ultimately what is happening is you are having osteoarthritis. Now once you have an osteoarthritis the joint surfaces are rough and you are not able to move smoothly what you have to do either you fuse the joint so that it does not cause pain that is called as arthrodesis that is the treatment or if it is causing too much of pain deformity and patient is not able to walk and he has to take every day tablets what you have to do and if the patient still wants movement at that gone gone off joint you have to keep a surface which is still again smooth enough so that it can glide and cause movement that is called that surgery to maintain an articular surface so that there is a movement still possible in that joint it is called as replacement arthroplasty right. Now replacement arthroplasty has become a salvage operation has become the gold standard operation for for joints of this kind where whole of the articular surface has gone. Now our, our aim in this studying in this osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis and some other thing is to stop these joints to go into that phase where we ultimately end up in a replacement. Now what has happened in, in replacement is now earlier days they used to do replacement for oldies who are more than 60, 65 years of age group hardly they had any uh, what I should say more activity left out like jumping, cutting, going that way, this way. So what was their requirement is get up, do their daily activities and then pass off their life with those knee joints. Hence those knee, jo knee joints or hip joints or uh, replaced joints lasted for 15 to 20 years. Now the indications for these surgeries have become more and more as the success of these replacements become more and more in those oldies. Now the, even the younger fellows who are having little amount of pain also they come with okay I have seen in the TV and that uh, YouTube video saying that once I replace this joint I will have I do I will not even this amount of pain that is wrong. If you do not select a patient who is proper for your replacement arthroplasty ultimately he will have more pain than what he was having earlier right. So the criteria for replacing a joint is more specifically the pain should always see to that the pain should be in a visual analog scale about 7, 7 to 10 in a scale of 10 it should be above 7 or it should be moderate to severe, severe to excruciating type of pain and if the pain is hampering his daily activities and this pain is not allowing him to stay quiet without taking tablets every day. So these are all the indications for you to go in and operate and do this major surgery of cutting this raw surfaces which are rubbing against each other and put a smooth surface articulating surface in so that they can again move and have a joint movement okay. So the indications for replacement specifically are pain, 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 patient in pain is the first indication rest all comes later on deformity and movement always come second right. So once you have to replace 
okay select one uh, good bearing surface the best bearing surface as of now available initially the bearing surfaces that means these articulating surfaces are metal on metal one metal over one metal but once these were rubbing the metal debris was coming into the joint and causing lot of problems now they have gone and changed it to metal on plastic now what has happened is the metal was strong enough and the plastic was getting debris uh, eroded every day and causing lot of plastic debris right leading to loosening of these implants and ultimately an unstable joint and ultimately a failure of arthroplasty later on they have evolved into a high density polyethylene plastics highly cross linked plastics where even the the wear surface is very smooth and hard so that even if you are using for so many times also it doesn't get worn out so high density polyethylene upon a nickel cobalt chromium steel stainless steel surface has come these are all bearing surfaces now over a period of time now again they have said no 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 the earlier one is good the, the we will put this one as uh, nickel cobalt chrome and this one also nickel cobalt chrome but we will uh, see to that these those things doesn't get worn out so easily so they have polished it so smoothly with so many items so many layers of polish making it so smooth that the friction level has come down that's called metal on metal arthroplasty now again again they went back these metals are not doing any good the metal losses is coming on and doing so much of loss so much metal ions are noted in the blood and ultimately now they have said we will find out some other uh, things which are used in other uh, hi fi technologies even aerodynamic technologies and air space technologies and now though now they have gone into ceramics alumina zirconium ceramics they are very tough hard structures with very fine surface so that they don't <coughs> erode or abrade so easily now ultimately these changes have happened in the replacement part of it so that the life of this implant process is what you are putting there is increased even if you are using this for younger generations this is all what is about arthroplasty i have now taken this time of 5 to 10 minutes to finish up arthroplasty part of it okay now just what we do in arthroplasty is cut this surface and put another bearing surface that is all about arthroplasty if you do for knee joint it is totally arthroplasty and if you do it for hip joint it is total hip arthroplasty if you are replacing it only on one surface it is called hemi replacement arthroplasty if you are replacing both the surfaces it is total joint replacement you can do it as well for shoulder elbow but ankle arthroplasty has gone into disrepute all the arthroplasties have become successful but ankle arthroplasty is the first arthroplasty which has gone into disrepute next to come is elbow arthroplasty so both of them have gone into some amount of disrepute when compared to hip and knee hip and knee arthroplasties have really made a wonder in orthopedic practice right so that is all about arthroplasty but ultimately having learned why this joint is going into degeneration is what has what is the thing that has stimulated so many people all around the world including me right i have done some amount of research on osteoarthritis and papers are due to be published now why this osteoarthritis has started how is it progressing and can we really go at some place and halt it so that we don't ultimately end up in a replacement type of scenario is what we have to learn in the next class with respect to more specifically osteoarthritis we'll finish off osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis and uh, some other miscellaneous topics in next class probably to put a full stop to this session right we have finished off already 12 classes 12 not this is 13th class so most probably in the 14th class we'll end up wind up this arthropedic part we'll see if not we can extend it to one more class right right thank you